Shalom family. This is me, Mary C., with yet another video. And I just want to come on real quick to, to say to you all to stay the course. I just want to offer you a little bit of encouragement. I want to say to you, stay the course. Stand strong, stand tall, and know that you're not in this battle alone. Um, we're, we're going to be faced with some dark days. And I just want you to get ready. Get ready for those those dark days. Uh, remember I said to you beforehand that the Father is going to begin to take some of the saints home with him. Um, I think I said that probably in either uh, late December or early January. I was, um, you know... Uh, presenting to you guys that he is going to, to begin to take some of the saints home with him. Uh, so for you guys to get your hearts and your, you know, get your hearts ready for that. So uh, many of us will lose family members. And I'm facing a little bit of that right now. And uh, one of our little angels is, is, is now with our Heavenly Father. And so, you know, these are sad times for, for me and my family right now. But it is something that we spoke about. I, you know, said to you that he is going to begin to to uh, take some of the saints home with him. So prepare your hearts. And you know, we don't know each each and every one of us. We don't know when our time is is up. You know, on this on this plane that we exist on on Earth, uh, we don't know. You know, every second is a is a miracle. Every second is a gift that is uh, given to us to be on this on this uh, earth. Um, this is not our home, however. We have to keep that in mind. Um, this is is not our home. There will be a new heaven. There will be a new earth. Um, I can't say who's going to be in heaven, who's going to be in earth. I don't really know. Uh, but I do know that there will be a new heaven and a new earth. And my understanding is that I will be on earth, but I can't really tell you for sure. There will be the, uh, the two that will be new. Um, again, not one second is promised to us here. So we need to make the most of the time that we do have here. Love on your family. Love on your friends. Don't waste time. And also, if you don't have a relationship with the Heavenly Father, if you don't have a relationship with God, if you don't know Jesus Christ, uh, the Messiah, the, the Messiah, I urge you to ask them into your heart, into your life. Ask them to forgive you of your sins. Ask them to help you to turn, turn to righteousness for their sake, for your sake. I, I urge you to, to ask them to come in and live in your heart to be born again. I urge you to repent of your sins. I urge you to be baptized. I urge you to follow the commandments. These are going to be some dark days ahead of us. We need to be ready. We really need to be ready. And I trust that you guys have been listening to me all along and that you have stored up your canned goods, your water, your um, medical supplies, gotten your prescriptions so that you have a few extra on hand. You're going to need these things. You're really going to need these things. So I, I'm, I'm happy to hear your reports that you're telling me that you've gone to the stores and, and that you have started your stockpiles and, and uh, some of you have been doing it for many years and I think that is just absolutely wonderful. Don't stop. I've also said to you beforehand, make sure that you never leave your, your gas tank uh, below half full. Keep it above that. Always keep it above that. And right now we're dealing, and, and you see what I mean, because right now we're dealing with just shocking uh, gas prices, okay, and and not just the the gas prices are shocking. The food prices are going up uh, to buy your food. So um, 
All of those things that I've said early on, you're seeing all those things happening now. You're seeing the, the shelves uh, partially uh, empty. You're seeing the shortages. So I'm so, so grateful that you guys have been heeding me. You've been reporting to me and you've been letting me know that uh, you've been stocking up. The other thing that I have mentioned to you guys was to make sure that you have your seeds so that you can plant your own food. That way you can eat what you grow. You don't have to completely rely on our local grocery stores. You can plant your food. You know, even if it's in one pot, you know, plant something. You know, I say that with the the stocking of food, you know, canned goods. You know, one can is better than no can. So you've heard this before. So I am saying, get yourself some seeds if you haven't already, and start your seeds. Start plant your seeds. Start your planting. So that way that you have food that you can eat. Oh, sorry, I hit the table again. Um, that way you have food that you can eat. So that's one other thing that I've mentioned to you. The, and so I'm just kind of. Uh, uh, summarizing, just going over some things that if you haven't done it, go do it. Um, the bank. Go to the bank and make sure that you have cash on hand. You never know if you're going to need it. Please go get yourself some cash. Um, I, I'm still thinking that we're going to experience cyber attacks. That being the case, we could, we could have a grid down issue or we could, you know, have um, go into um, a darkness where we don't have electricity. And if that be the case, you want to make sure that you're prepared for that. So make sure you have your, your supplies for in the event that we don't have electricity. Have your supplies ready. Know where they are. Be prepared. I don't want you to be caught unawares. Um, and, and I said beforehand, uh, what you're seeing, especially in the news, is, is a lot of misinformation that's out there. A lot of lies. And you have to be able to discern and sift through all of those lies that are out there. They're, they're, I, I'm hoping that you're paying attention. There is a narrative that they want us to, to believe. And it's pretty much one-sided. And uh, just... Open your eyes, open your ears, make sure that you have ears to hear and, and eyes to see. What you're being told is lies. I, I hope that you guys are, are, are seeing it. I don't want to call it out right now, but I hope that you're seeing it. It is uh, the narrative that we're hearing, especially in regards to the war that is happening over there in um, uh, between Russia and Ukraine. It is primarily one-sided. Um, they, they are spinning a narrative and they want you to see it and see things via their eyes. It is not all of what it seems. And remember what I said. You'll see things that are going on that keep your attention on the right when all along we need to be paying attention to what's going on on our left. So stay focused. Uh, on the, the Heavenly Father, knowing that there is a spiritual war that's being um, waged right now. It's not only uh, being waged in the, the spirit realm, but we're also uh, fighting this war here on the, on the physical realm as well. So I just wanted to come to you guys and to just, you know, say to you to, you know, um, be, on, be on the alert. Be on the alert. Pay attention to what's going on around you. Also, uh, I had mentioned beforehand that uh, crime is, 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 has taken on a, a different um, meaning, if you will. Uh, the criminals are not like they were before, if you understand what I mean. So be alert in that area as well. When you go to the, the stores, when you have to go out and be about, uh, be careful. You know, watch things that are going on around you. Be aware of exit areas, wherever you are, in the event that something goes down. Uh, these, are, these are times that are going to be unsettled. So be careful. Be careful. 
And I, I want to do a video where I want to focus on children. And it's been a very difficult uh, uh, creation uh, time for me for putting this, this video together. And I don't know why I've been having difficulties uh, trying to put this video together. But I want to talk about children. And hopefully, you know, within the next few days, I can get it out. Um, but it has been very, you know, it's like the enemy has been attacking me, attacking uh, my um, ability to to put this video together. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to tackle that. Just pray for me. Pray, you know, be in prayer for me. Pray also for my family during this uh, difficult and dark time. Um, it's it's a sad time for us. So so be in prayer for for my family. I really really uh, would appreciate it. But make sure, family, within the next few days, that you um, get all of the things that you need to get as much as you can. As much as you can, and and just be prayerful, be watchful, be careful. And know that I love you. And so I'm going to end it here, as I always do. I tell you, I love you, which I do. I love you dearly. But know this, the Most High, our Father, the Great I Am, He loves you so much more. Shalom, family.